Hi guys, so today's video is a review and in action video on the Toro Commercial 22188T model, the pro line it is. Very heavy duty mower, recycle mower, all rear bagger, but also got a side discharge chute, which I acquired a few years ago. 2012 models, I have two of these that I run and I'll go into that one at a later date. I did do a video on these a few months ago, but no action video. And there's not that many action videos on YouTube, specifically in depth of these working. So that's what I'm doing today. And showing more of what they can do and the finish you get. I, I just think they're fantastic mowers and I use these all the time. The near, they were discontinued a few years ago. And the newest I've seen is 2014. Maybe they do a 15... But I think that'll be about the last of them. I will look for newer ones. And just keep doing them up then. Even if I've got new engines on them in the future. I just think they're really, really good machines. I think anyone who uses them will uh, understand what I'm, what I'm saying. Kawasaki. FJ180V. 180cc. Good, strong engine. Commercial engine. They've got a tendency to bend cranks. But um, that's, you've got to hit something hard but I like to do that. The oil filter, full pressurised oil system so they will do a bank to a certain extent. Three speed and they fitted with a blade brake clutch so that's a good feature I like that you can drive them around without the blade going and for when you're changing the, the empty in the bags that's good. But they're just really strong. The wheels are strong. Like I said, the cast aluminium deck is, is quarter inch, six mil thick. One of the strongest in the industry. Just really, really strong machines. I like them. I can't see me changing to anything else, to be honest though. Other than cylinder mowers. Which is a different story completely. They don't like bagging wet grass. Because the chute's too small here. That's why I took the door off as well. Because they was getting caught in the door, it makes more flow through there then. Where the Eta, or the rear bagger Toro, that's the same machine anyway, has got a bigger grass shoot on the back. That's why I use them for wet grass or longer grass. But we'll get up there now and do a bit of cutting. Like I said, there's not many in-depth videos on, on these machines cutting. I'll mulch first. It's still... Lock in the mulch plug, so put that in there and I'll stay in there. Right, so we're going to do some cutting now. Mulch in there, could have gone up a little bit. That's not bad. No clippings left, really. It does make a bit of a noise when you're mulching all the grass to build up underneath. So that's pretty clean. I'm going to still I'll go up one notch, I think. Go through some thicker, thicker stuff there. Yeah, it's going well, eh? I can tell by the sound of it. It would make a terrible sound underneath the deck if it's jamming up, if it's, it's trying to get rid of too much grass. So that sounded nice, eh? There'd no, be no noise at all from under the deck. No clippings at all. But like I said, my bye has too, too long. Go down a bit now and do it again. Oh, 
I'm happy enough. I was dropping it twice, that is. Started off on the first sight, who saw, and then went down to this, it's quite low. No clippings left at all, really, I'd say. Look, that's good. I don't know much recycling, to be though, but if I had to, I'd get away with that. Well, that's just showing a. If you go too low, um, you're trying to cut too much, you end up like this with lots of a green patches just trying to dump too much on the ground so that's what we're trying to avoid but yeah down here look I got stopped by yeah. I totally stopped the blade and well too much of a it just wouldn't, wouldn't chuck it down we've got to be up high to create enough room under there so we can throw it down into the grasses Side arsing, no. I do a bit of side discharge by now and down by there. I'll also put it full up, then as high as I'll go, and we'll see if we can discharge. I got a cut with these caravans have gone out. Well, I can't go back. Um, like I said, it's thick and it's long, so it might not work very good. But uh, we'll try it. I got his eyes, he'll go and he adjust us. That was long grass. That's exactly what I mean. It doesn't like long grass. It's blocked. And I was going slow then. I was going in first gear. Look. Because only a small shoot. That's the only disadvantage to this. Is long grass. It eats it. Clean it out a bit. And that actually works better without the flap on it. That's why I took it off. We'll do some rear bagging by you. When I'm doing most of my jobs, I use this rear bagging. I don't mulch or side discharge, but that's just options I can do. And it will do it perfectly, nothing wrong with that at all. But like I said, from bagging, it's actually damp today, so it's not perfectly dry either. So that's not good. Watch how easy the bag goes on now.
though. It's a nice finish, isn't it? I'm happy with that. It bags well, it does. Like I said, not so good wet grass and long grass, but normal grass. Yeah, brilliant. Only thing I would say is it doesn't like long grass or wet grass. That's one thing this mower doesn't doesn't like. Any grass in between, situations between, brilliant. Fantastic mower. It puts a lot in the bag too. Let me lift the bag off so we see. Well, that's a big bag full. See it? It really jams in there. Oh, it's a fair amount in there. It's a big bag full. It was blocked then, see? Just blocking it was. Well, there we are. I hope you enjoyed it. That was my review on the Toro Commercial 22188TE. Well, I hope this video helped someone out. If they're looking into buying one of these, or they want to see one working or information on one. Because there's, like I said, there's not that many videos on there. Because I've been looking for a long time on these. And uh, so I thought I'd, that's why I do a bit of a in-depth. Are they working? Doing different things. Alright. Please don't subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.